This video focuses on auditing the process of change control within a first tier automotive supplier that supplies product to Ford, Volkswagen and Nissan. The auditor is auditing the engineering manager who is responsible for change control process and the quality engineer responsible for communicating with the customer. Watch this video and identify whether the auditor undertakes this audit effectively. Just one thing I noticed when we um, did the virtual facility tour earlier was that there had been several changes in the plant layout since I was here last year. Can you just give me an overview and explain the purpose of these changes? Yeah, so most of the changes have been in the Ford cell, uh, and that was due to part of a cost reduction program. We've had an external consultant assisting us in understanding and implementing lean manufacturing principles. If successful, we will roll out uh, this to all other cells. Okay, so and and can you give me a little bit more on on these changes? So, are you making changes to the sort of um, the layout and the flow of uh, product? Sure. So the changes mainly affect the door panel assembly cell uh, for assembly number F five six seven eight nine zero. Before, due to the layout of the cell, we had four operators. We did a spaghetti diagram to map the operator movement, and as a result, we relayed out the cell one weekend, uh, which resulted in uh, reallocation of workload and reduction down to three operators. That's interesting. And just just a, a quick question: How were the risks of of these changes considered? So again, before the the sort of implementation, how did you assess and manage the risks? Yeah. So obviously, we we reviewed the PFMEA. As a result of the change, uh, uh, the process flow has changed. Yeah, I saw that when I was um, auditing production earlier. I see the date of review of the FMEA, though, is after the date of the implementation of the change. Can you explain why that might be? You know, I'm not sure. I th think it may have been overlooked. Uh, although the consultant we were using is a recognized expert in lean manufacturing, he didn't have much experience with IATF 16949 or uh, their related tools. Yeah, no, I, I understand. Sometimes the desire to change things quickly can almost overtake the, the processes. So just on that, what about the control plan? Was that updated um, to reflect these changes? So we did not make any changes as overall the controls and checks were we undertake on, a, on this product did not change. Uh, we will update to align with the revised process flow during our next annual review. Okay. What about the customer? Were they informed of the changes out of interest? Okay. Uh, I'll answer that one. So I can't really show you any specific evidence, but we did have meetings with Ford about this cost down program, and they are aware that we are planning to make changes within the cell. Yeah, okay, but I, I have a, a real concern about the way this has been managed. So I'm I'm very concerned about the way you're managing changes and, and I'm gonna have no option but to raise this as a major nonconformity. A major? A major. I, I do not agree. Look, we we're trying to meet customer customer cost down targets and you know, we're trying to stay in business. It's been a really challenging year that we've had. And again, I, I understand that. I, I understand the pressures um, organizations are under. Yeah, you can't just go about implementing changes. You have to understand the ITF requirements and, frankly, customer requirements. And if you understood those requirements maybe more thoroughly, you would, I think, understand and accept where I'm coming from. So are you accusing me of not understanding the ITF requirements? Well, you know, I, I, I guess essentially yes, um, because of, of what I've seen during this portion of the audit, where clearly you are making changes without fully considering and engaging key sort of stakeholders in those changes. So, yeah, I, I'm not prepared to I'll, I'll be taking it up with my director. I'm not prepared to take this from an external provider like you. You're meant to be here to help and not criticize. Well, to be perfectly frank, I'm here to independently assess your 
organization against a set of quality management system requirements. But I, I'm not going to stand in your way. Ultimately, I'm going to raise a major nonconformity, and that is going to uh, have the impact of suspending your certificate. Yeah, I will go ahead and do that. The audit started well, with the auditor following audit trails from production to the management of change. Like many organizations in the automotive supply chain, managing customer requirements for cost down is very challenging, with many organizations using lean manufacturing principles to help achieve the cost down targets. Why this is perfectly okay organizations need to ensure that all the relevant quality management system documentation is reviewed as part of the proposed change process, including the process flow diagram, the PFMEA, and the control plan. Customer-specific requirements must be sampled during audits to ensure they are effectively addressed by the organizations, including communicating with the customer any proposed change in the layout within the manufacturing process. Finally, auditors should not get into arguments with the organization's personnel. They should remain factual and objective. If clients do not agree with any of the proposed findings, the auditor should, should refer them to the relevant appeals process. So let's summarize the key learning points. In proposing making any change to the manufacturing process, customer-specific requirements related to the communication of change must be understood and met. All the relevant process documentation, including the process flow, the PFMEA, and the control plan, must be reviewed and, when necessary, updated as part of the change process. Auditors should always remain calm, factual, and objective, and not be drawn into arguments.